How to wire circulators to Taco zone valve controls. This video was created to help the HVAC professional install and maintain Taco equipment. Please read the on screen disclaimer before viewing this video. Simple to install Taco zone valve controls provide reliable and versatile control of residential hydronic systems. You can wire circulators to Taco zone valve controls in a variety of ways to meet the particular needs of your application. In this video, we'll show you three scenarios. One, how to wire a system circulator to the zone valve control. Two, how to wire a system circulator and a domestic hot water or DHW circulator to operate together. Three, how to wire a system circulator and a domestic hot water circulator to operate independently when the priority zone calls for heat. Before getting started, be safe. Turn off the AC power to the circuit you're working on, or better yet, cut AC power to the household. Assemble the tools you'll need. You can download a complete list of tools needed for this project at the link below this video. How to wire a system circulator to the Taco zone valve control. Today we're using a ZVC 404-4. However, this wiring will also work with all ZVC models. Before starting, please note that all the end switches on the ZVC are dry switches, meaning that there is no power until you energize them with voltage. First, connect the 120 volt AC power to the zone valve control ZVC, matching the hot wires, the neutral wires, and the ground wires. Now we will energize the pump end switch. It doesn't matter which terminal you use, but to stay consistent with the drawing on the instruction sheet, we will connect a wire pigtail to the left-hand terminal of the pump end switch. Tighten the terminal screw to secure the pigtail in place. Connect the other end of the pigtail to the hot 120 volt AC line. Next, wire the system circulator to the ZVC. Connect the hot wire from the circulator to the right-hand terminal of the pump end switch and tighten the terminal screw. Connect the neutral wire to the neutral of the incoming 120 volt AC power source. Connect the ground wire to a ground terminal wire. And secure the connections with wire nuts. At this point, the 120 volt AC wiring is complete. Now we'll wire the low voltage wiring. Connect the thermostat to the desired zone. Wire the red and white leads from the thermostat to the corresponding red and white terminals at the top of the zone valve control. Here we are using zone 3. Connect the zone valve to the corresponding zone at the bottom of the board. Screw terminals 1 and 2 provide 24 volts to open the valve on a call for heat. If you have a 4 wire zone valve with an end switch, screw terminals 3 and 4 can be used to connect the end switch of the valve. This completes the low voltage wiring of the ZVC. When lit, the green LED indicates that the board is powered. When the thermostat calls for heat, it will cause the corresponding yellow LED indicator to light. The yellow indicator stays lit until the zone is satisfied. When the end switch of the valve closes, it will cause the red LED indicator to glow, indicating that the valve is open and both end switches are closed. When this occurs, the boiler should fire and the circulator will run until the zone is satisfied. If you are using a two-wire zone valve, then you will need to place a jumper across screw terminals 3 and 4 to cause the red LED to glow and the end switch on the board to close. That completes all the wiring for the system circulator and controls for a single zone. You may now restore power to the circuit. The green LED indicator light will glow, indicating that the power is connected. Note that the green LED should always be on as long as there is power to the board. How to wire a system circulator and a domestic hot water or DHW circulator to operate together. Today we're using a ZVC 404-4. However, this wiring will also work with all ZVC models. First, connect the 120 volt AC power to the zone valve control transformer, matching the hot wires, the neutral wires, and the ground wires. Before continuing, Please note that the end switches on the Taco zone valve control are all dry switches. This means there is no voltage at the switch until power is applied. 
Now we will energize the pump end switch. It doesn't matter which terminal you use, but to stay consistent with a drawing on the instruction sheet, we will connect a wire pigtail to the left-hand terminal of the pump end switch. Tighten the terminal screw to secure the pigtail in place. Then connect the other end to the hot 120 volt AC line. Connect a short black jumper wire to the right-hand screw terminal of the pump end switch. Insert the free end of the jumper wire into the common screw terminal of the zone 4 pump end switch and tighten down both connections. Next, we will connect the system circulator to the ZVC. One wire of the system circulator will go to the right-hand screw terminal of the pump end switch. The other wire from the system circulator will be connected to the neutral wire that powers up the transformer on the zone valve control board. Then, connect the ground wires together. Now we will connect the DHW pump to the ZVC. Connect one wire of the DHW pump to the NO, normally open screw, on the zone 4 pump end switch. We will connect the other wire from the DHW pump with the rest of the neutral wires. Finally, connect the ground wire with the rest of the ground wires and secure all connections with wire nuts. At this point, the 120 volt AC wiring is complete. Now we'll wire the low voltage wiring. Connect the thermostat to the desired zone. Wire the red and white leads from the thermostat to the corresponding red and white terminals at the top of zone valve control. Here we are using zone 3. Connect the valve for the zone you're working on. Wire screw terminals 1 and 2 from the ZVC to the 24 volt terminals on the actuator. Then wire screw terminals 3 and 4 to the end switch of the valve actuator. Here we are wiring the valve to zone 3. This completes the low voltage wiring of the ZVC. When lit, the green LED indicates that the board is powered. When the thermostat calls for heat, it will cause the corresponding yellow LED indicator to light. The yellow indicator stays lit until the zone is satisfied. If you are using a two-wire zone valve, then you will need to place a jumper across screw terminals 3 and 4 to cause the red LED to glow and the end switch on the board to close. Please note that you can prioritize domestic hot water by turning the priority switch to on. In this configuration, when there is a call for domestic hot water, power to all of the other heating zones will be removed until the DHW is satisfied. This can be helpful if the boiler can't keep up with both demands. Remember, the Zone 4 pump only switches when Zone 4 calls, whether or not the priority switch is on. That completes the wiring for the system circulator, domestic hot water circulator, and the controls. Wired in this way, the system circulator will run when any zone calls for heat. When there is a call for hot water, both the system circulator and DHW pump will run. Now you may restore power to the circuit. The green LED should always be on as long as there is power to the board. How to wire a system circulator and a domestic hot water circulator for independent operation when there is a call for domestic hot water. This wiring scheme is not on the instruction sheet. First, connect the 120 volt AC power to the zone valve control, ZVC, matching the hot wires, the neutral wires, and the ground wires. Before continuing, remember that the end switches on the Taco zone valve control are all dry switches. This means there is no voltage at the switch until power is applied. To continue, connect a wire pigtail from the 120 volt power source to the common screw terminal of the zone 4 pump end switch. Tighten the terminal screw to secure the pigtail in place. Now, using a jumper wire, Connect one end of the jumper from the normally closed NC terminal of the zone 4 pump end switch to the right hand terminal of the pump end switch. Now we can wire the pumps starting with the system circulator. Now we can wire the pumps. Connect one wire from the system circulator to the left hand screw terminal of the pump end switch. Gang the neutral wire from the system circulator with the rest of the neutrals and connect the ground with the other grounds. Now connect the DHW circulator. Connect one wire from the DHW circulator to the normally open NO terminal of the zone 4 pump relay. Then gang the neutral wire from the DHW circulator with the rest of the neutral wires and gang the DHW pump ground together with the rest of the grounds. At this point, the 120 volt AC wiring is complete. Secure all connections with wire nuts. Now we'll wire the low voltage wiring.
Now we'll wire the low voltage wiring. Connect the thermostat for the zone you're working on to the zone valve control. Wire the red and white leads from the thermostat to the corresponding red and white terminals at the top of the ZVC. Here we are using zone 3. Connect the zone valve for the zone you're working on. Wire screw terminals 1 and 2 from the ZVC to the 24 volt terminals on the actuator. Then wire screw terminals 3 and 4 to the end switch of the valve actuator. Here we are wiring the valve to zone 3. This completes the low voltage wiring of the ZVC. When lit, the green LED indicates that the board is powered. When the thermostat calls for heat, it will cause the corresponding yellow LED indicator to light. The yellow indicator stays lit until the zone is satisfied. If you are using a two-wire zone valve, then you will need to place a jumper across screw terminals 3 and 4 to cause the red LED to glow and the end switch on the board to close. Please note that you can prioritize domestic hot water by turning the priority switch to on. In this configuration, when there is a call for domestic hot water, power to all of the other heating zones will be removed until the DHW is satisfied. This can be helpful if the boiler can't keep up with both demands. Remember, the Zone 4 pump end switch only switches when Zone 4 calls, whether or not the priority switch is on. That completes all the wiring of the system circulator and domestic hot water circulator to the controls. When wired for domestic hot water in this wiring configuration, only the DHW pump will respond to a call for hot water. The system circulator operates independently from the DHW pump. There is no power to the system circulator when there is a call for hot water. Now you may restore power to the control. The green LED indicator light will glow, indicating that the power is connected. The green LED should always be on as long as there is power to the board. For additional resources, product information, and comprehensive tech support, please visit TACO on the web at www.taco-hvac.com.